to my channel my name is katie if you're new i'm at the salon i took a day off today to get my hair done so my hair is natural and i'm getting it relaxed today um i think i've been natural for maybe three years if not more but yeah i i, I can't manage it honestly so i just need a break and my hairdresser that i normally go to that would braid my hair um she's in jamaica for a year so she's not coming back until probably february next year i'm thinking you were made for me isn't it my birthday yet because i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby So last week Thursday when I came and just got a wash and blow dry, um, I actually got my hair cut already. So it's quite short, but I had a lot of dead ends, split ends and stuff. So yeah, quite excited. Okay, Kurt and I, we're just at the hospital. We're doing our annual health check. We haven't done one of these in forever. <laughs> <laughs> so we just thought it'd be good. So I'm off of work today and then Kurt's going to work um, once we're finished. It's 7.42, our appointment's 8 o'clock and it's just a bunch of tests and injections and different stuff that we're getting done we're not even sure but it's like a full health check i think it was not it's normally cost it normally costs i think 6.99 and they had a special so it's 4.99 each so that's just to show you like how much or how extensive the tests are Okay, so we're just at breakfast. But yeah, we have one more test to do, which will take five minutes. It's currently 9.30. And then Kurt's not meeting with the doctor until 11, and then my appointment's 11.30. So yeah, we have a long wait, which is kind of crazy. So we just decided to get some breakfast. Breakfast is included. Also, um, we didn't have to pay anything for the test. My insurance covered it all, thank God. So um, yeah, we didn't have to pay anything for the test. And so we're just waiting on our breakfast. But yeah, good thing we took the day off, or I took the day off, and Kurt took half day. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll show you our food once we get it. just finished we just left <laughs> like how how oh my gosh there's no way i couldn't have taken the day off it's one o'clock like i can't believe it anyways so yeah we left um health's pretty good for the most part so that's good we just ordered some food and then we're gonna just drive um look at kurt's land and then pick up our food and head home i'm so tired i just want to sleep I know I'm hungry and I know when I get home I'm going to be starving, but oh my gosh, I'm like 1 o'clock, babe. I'm so tired. Wow, I didn't think it was going to be that long. I thought we'd be out there by 11.30, but woo, woo. Because I got the system of favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third. land. Woohoo. You should look back in years to come when you build your duplex and be like, this was it before. So they put another duplex right there. And here's another duplex. <laughs> Duplexes all around. Alrighty, so it's Tuesday, May 3rd at the gym. We have a personal training session with Rory. So it's just Joanna and I. So yeah, it's almost seven. So it's a half hour session and then we're gonna head home shower and then head into the office and then i have lunch with Celie today um he's like my childhood best friend from granny susie days it was his birthday last week and i didn't make his party so taking him to lunch and then i actually have a massage at three that i forgot about <laughs> i didn't tell you how to vote so we're gonna be at work late <laughs> Okay, yeah, so as you can 
Lindsay. Cracked my finger when I went to work when I was taking um, my bags off my shoulder. Um, I had my handbag and my backpack and it dropped on this. So it's cracked, but it's not fully coming off. So I'm at Doctor's Express because I was trying to get through quickly. So I was just waiting for like 25 minutes to see a nurse. And then now we have to wait on the doctor because he's not sure if they can take it off. I have to, or if I have to go somewhere else. So I'm hoping I can just get it done here. It's stinging. We'll see. Okay, I'm back home now. That was that, that was an experience. So this is my nail now, right? Basically, it was a wasted trip. They told me they couldn't help me, and it was just ridiculous, honestly. So I went, um, showed the lady my nail, and I was like, hey, um, I broke my nail um and it's bleeding and so she's like have you been here before and i was like yeah and she's like check yourself in i was like oh okay because they have like this ipad thing and so thank god this other lady was at the front and she was so kind because she can see that my thumb is bleeding right so she's like i'll check you in so she asked me for my date of birth etc so thankfully for her i think her name's melissa amazing customer service right so then melissa well i think her name's melissa she was then telling me that um I might have to go somewhere else because it depends if they have um the machine to be able to cut the nail or something like that so i was like oh so i should just go somewhere else and she's like no um she'll check so she called the nurse and she was like i know that like you know before we had an issue with someone with the nail and it broke and we weren't able to take the nail off so not sure so she told me i have a seat you know and the nurse would check etc so anyways it's called doctor's express you know express service and stuff and i i went there before because i smashed um my thumb before in the door and i had a great experience um really nice lady etc so i just decided to go there you know so it could be quick because i need to get back to work and i was already like 10 minutes late for work and then this happened and i have work to do right and i was off yesterday so anyways sitting there sitting there sitting there waiting 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 waiting, waiting. anyways the nurse eventually comes so basically everyone that was there before they saw before fine if you do it in first come first serve no problems i just thought because you know since my thumb was bleeding and um they may not be able to help me apparently that they would just you know check me first and then just let me go if not so anyways was there everyone that was there before me went in like six people then the nurse came and called me back so then i go into the room and he just looks at my hand so he asked me what happened so i explained to him you know i was taking off my backpack and my handbag and i think one of the straps from one of them um came down on my nail and it broke and it's bleeding you know so he's like okay so then i said to him um i don't know if you can like pour some peroxide just to clean it up you know like clear it up kind of thing and he was like oh no and so he didn't touch my hand anything he just looked at it from like a distance and he was like okay um the doctor will come to see if we can um do anything so i was like oh okay Alrighty. so i was sitting there waiting waiting like 10 10 minutes probably 10 15 minutes not sure i think closer to 15 minutes and the doctor comes in this lady she asked what happened explained to her what happened um and she's just looking at my hand she's like oh yeah we we probably won't be able to help um we don't have the tool to be able to take off your nail blah 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 more than likely you're gonna have to go back to your nail tech and so i was like oh because it's bleeding and stuff i thought i would come to the doctor and she's like yeah but we don't have the machines that like the nail techs have to take it off so she's like i'll check with another doctor and see so then she goes out to check with another doctor and i can hear them talking about me and he was like he's very dismissive like everyone's been very dismissive at this point and he's very dismissive like yeah we don't have that machine blah 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 and so she comes back and she's like yeah we're not going to be able to do anything so i was like okay well i came so that you guys could clean it and if anything like bandage she's like yeah but we can't take it off because we're not a nail tech so i was like okay i was like well this is a waste of time and granted the lady at the front did say to me that they may not have um the machine to take off the nail etc anyways they didn't charge me anything left my nail tech is not working today she's off my other nail tech is sick so anyways i come home and pour peroxide on the nail because obviously it was full of blood as you can see so i poured peroxide on the nail so you can get a better like picture of it because i'm saying to them like it's cracked all the way across and it's just like held on by like some skin on the end right anyways i poured peroxide and i was able to take the nail off myself because it was just attached to a bit of skin and so i was just pouring some peroxide to like clear it up etc and i'm just like really like honestly y'all can just pour some peroxide to clean up the nail and see like okay all you had to do was just clip the end bit that the nail was attached to and if anything just bandage up my my finger for me 
So anyways, I was pissed, like honestly. And so I was going to write a bad review, um, a Google review. And I was like, you know what, let me call because I had a great experience last time. And honestly, the lady at the front that was so kind to me and checked me in, I was like, great customer service. So anyways, I called and, um, hold on. So funny enough, um, I don't even remember where I was at, but my phone was ringing. That was doc the Doctor's Express hospital that I went to. That was um, their manager calling back, Winnie. Absolutely amazing customer service. So yeah, I, I felt very dismissed. So, you know, I was going to write a, a Google review and just like, like worst experience ever, blah, blah, blah. But because I had a great experience before, I was like, no, and you know, you sometimes give people the chance to explain or correct themselves because, you know, it may, it may just be me that felt that way and they didn't feel that way. So anyways, I called and I spoke with um, the manager and she was really lovely. You know, she apologized. She let me know she'd speak to the team just to see. So she was just calling back. Um because I complained about the lady at the front that wanted me to check in and I'm like okay my fingers here bleeding thank god for the other lady um Melissa and then just you know the waiting time and then by the time I went back it was like oh no one wanted to even look at it or anything so anyways um she called back and she was just explaining to me you know that she spoke with the team and it was never anyone's intention to make me feel dismissed etc she was saying that the reason they didn't want to um pour peroxide on the nail is depending on the glue um peroxide it could like combust kind of thing so that's why they were more um trying to get me to just go back to the nail tech let her take the nail off because they weren't sure or they didn't think that my actual nail underneath the acrylic nail was cracked or anything so that's why um, they were saying to just go back to the nail tech and then if my nail was cracked, if anything, then to come back because they didn't want to inject me with like this nerve, I don't remember what it's called, this nerve thing that like then they would have to take off my actual nail. Their whole thing is to preserve the nail kind of thing. So she was saying, yeah, that was more the case. It wasn't that they were trying to rush me, even though I can see from here that my actual nail is broken underneath, like there's a crack and still some dry blood but yeah so i i poured the peroxide myself um but i can understand them not wanting to do it so either way um it's done with they're not the worst like i'm thankful that the manager actually listened to me and actually went back to her staff and as i said the customer service from um the lady at the front was so good that i was like no let me call because i had a great experience with her it was just the back end staff i didn't necessarily have a great experience with and um there's a reason for that and why they didn't want to um pour peroxide or or whatever it is with the nail so anyways long story short i'm back to work i'm home now you know i wasn't gonna go in today because we can work from home certain days i was like no i wasn't in yesterday i just kept my ass at home so anyways i've worked to do i haven't it's it's 11 something and i haven't even had a shake any water so i'm gonna have breakfast now and then get on with my day i can't even go to lunch i was supposed to go to lunch with Celie today at 11 30 for his birthday so i had to reschedule that with him but yeah that's it so heading to soca class and then what's it called mix aerobics it's where you have like aerobics and then you do weights with cardio so yeah i'm just at markeisha's house picking her up and then we're going to the gym um i'm gonna try and record but i think the class might be full i don't want to get anyone you know without their consent so probably won't be able to record but i'll try um i just put my finger in a band-aid um it's still stinging and my nail is actually cracked so i need to sort that out but yeah today it's wednesday may 4th so i went to soca class last night and calories class and i couldn't record because there was so much of us and stuff but it was a really good class i'm going back next week my back was hurting i thought i was physically fit i'm far from physically fit so it was an amazing class last night me and markeisha we had a great time so we're going back next week even though she thinks we're not going back we're going back next week um today just at work because obviously i had to go home yesterday because of what happened with my thumb um working in the office today what else do i have on i have a regular aerobics class tonight at 7 30 i'm going to try and catch some footage from that that's with calroy um yeah so just working from the office today um not much else is going on i just sent through my lunch order because my work is so kind enough to get us lunch whenever we're in office yeah i don't think i have much else on today to be honest yeah so just work head home 
and then go to class tonight. I'll show you some of what I eat because I'm really trying to lose weight because I did a health check on Monday, as you can see from this vlog, and I'm trying to incorporate some of the things that the doctor told me. Um, obviously, he's like an obesity doctor, I think he said. Like, he specializes in that. He's not just an obesity doctor. So he was saying to me, um, I need to cut the sugars because I have an obsession with candy. I'll eat, like, two bags of candy a day if it was up to me. My dentist can tell you because I used to have so much cavities. But yeah, he was just telling me to limit that because you don't want to get diabetes or, you know, have high blood pressure, etc. So it's best, while I don't have it, to not get it and then be stuck. So I'm really going to try and watch what I eat and um, just make it a lifestyle change because I really want to drop 50 pounds. I know it sounds excessive, but I really want to drop 50 pounds. I want to be, I think, around 130 to 140 and currently i think i'm 180 something i'm gonna weigh myself tomorrow morning but yeah okay so i'm gonna show you what i plan to eat for today so first i have my shake that i made at home so this is just two scoops of protein powder almond milk banana peanut butter and some chocolate chips so i made that myself sorry that's almost coming and then in here i just have my beet juice celery juice and lemon juice because i need to get some greens in and I don't really like eating my greens, so I prefer to juice than eat salads. So this has my name on it too, I like it. So that's that. And then I have a banana. Um, I got this from work. It's not ripe and I hate when my banana's ripe. Um, so this is perfect. And then I have some leftover pineapple from yesterday. I only eat the sweet ones. So yeah, so this is what I plan to eat plus the lunch that I ordered um, for work and when that comes, I'll show you that. And I think I'll probably have lunch left over, so I'll just have that for dinner. So yeah. Oh, guys, guys. I always eat a Quest chip every day. Either this flavor or this flavor. So either the sweet chili or the chili lime is the best. I have one of these a day. See? So yeah. So that's what I plan to eat. Um, it might seem like a lot, but I think it's pretty healthy. Protein shake, juice, fruit, and then my lunch. See ya. Woohoo, so I just got my office phone. It's an iPhone 13. So now I have a work phone. So excited. Alrighty, so I'm going to regular aerobics now. It's 7.30 class. It's 7.28. My car is always late, so it's fine. So it's just going to be an hour class tonight. I didn't work out today. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. But because it's regular aerobics, I'm going to go. So this is my fit. <sighs> Back again at the gym on Thursday. Have another PT session with Joanna. And we have a busy day. We have a lot going on. Supermarket, Joanna's. I was going to say preaching. Is that the word? Not preaching. Giving a talk? Um, yeah, Joanna's giving a talk tonight. I want them to know it's like a gospel talk. Okay, uh, so giving a gospel talk. Giving a gospel talk um, tonight, and it's ladies only. And we have a bunch of stuff to do today, but you'll see. I was worried you'd blow up my reputation. But if you get this out on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty, so just finished gym exhausted just at dhl to pick up a package it was supposed to get delivered yesterday but i don't know what happened so we just came to collect it okay so i stopped at dhl this morning after the gym so i'm gonna just do an unboxing of what i got i'm not sure what's in here because they actually have another package for me but that wouldn't be ready until i think 10 30 and i probably won't get that today because i have a full schedule so let's see what's in here Sorry, that was Joanna calling. Alrighty, so we'll find out together what's in here. So let's see. But shout out to my malls. They're the best, like, best. We used to use so many different, like, courier services. But my malls, they might be a little more pricey. But the service and how fast you get this stuff is just impeccable. Let's see what's in here. Okay, 
so I have some makeup sponges because I'm gonna actually try to learn how to do my makeup because it's just been a hassle getting my makeup done and um, my makeup artist she might be leaving so we got some sponges I don't is it just called a sponge yeah microfiber microfiber velvet sponge so just got a pack of these uh, oh I got this this is my airpod case I actually had a phone case with this girl on it. When you have nails, it's quite hard. So yeah, look at this. I hope it can fit. Not sure. So yeah, it's just an AirPod case. I just thought it was so cute. And then that's the other side. I didn't know it fly off. I thought it stayed. Oh gosh. Broke it already. Yeah, I'll start that after, but I just think it's so cute. Uh what else? Okay. This is a romper from Old Navy. I think this oh it's a medium. It looks quite huge. I was gonna say this is probably for my sister, but it's a medium. I might try that on later, but yeah. And then from Old Navy again. I really need to put a bandage on this thumb because I keep hitting it. Ah, my nail is lifting now. What are you doing? Anyways, I think it's supposed to be like a shirt dress. It's such a nice color, it's so vibrant. Should probably pop the tags. Yeah, it's not much in this box. <laughs> I think the one at 10.30 for me to pick up has a lot more stuff. This is, oh, oh, a shirt dress, similar to the pink one, just different color. And then, I think this is a romper. So yeah, and then this is a romper. I think I'll try them on to make sure they fit. But yeah, so that's it. I think yeah, the other box that's there at DHL, I think that has more stuff. I'll see if I can collect it today. I'm working from home, so maybe on my lunch break. But the thing with DHL is you just never know how full it might be. So you could legit be there for like over an hour. But yeah. So this is the first romper. I think it's freaking nice. I thought it was big, but I think it fits good. It's not too short. I like it. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, not bad. It's quite flowy. It does seem a bit big, but I think it's supposed to be big. So this isn't a medium. I almost got a large because I normally order a large from Old Navy, I think. And it has pockets as well. It's quite cool. I wonder how it would have been if I got a small. I like it. Okay, so it's the same shirt dress. This one's in white or ivory, not sure. I like it. I think also it needs to be pressed so it looks a bit wrinkled, but I like it. It's a medium as well. I'm really wondering how the small would fit, but I like that it's not tight or anything. And I think this is how it's supposed to fit. Yeah, I really like it. Last one is this army green romper. This is in a medium. I was thinking to get this in a large, to be honest, because I didn't think this would fit. But I think I'll try to lose some more pounds before I wear before I wear this, sorry. It's just a bit tight. Obviously my bra's on and stuff, but it's a bit tight. So I might wait more like back fat there kind of thing but this is really good length and stuff not too short under my butt but yeah i really like it on the road again Kurt back. <laughs> so we're going to pick up some cupcakes and mini cheesecakes for my friend sunita she has um i love that she has a bakery she does cakes um cakes mint and cool so we're gonna pick that up from her because she's actually leaving today because it's mother's day and we're going by mom uh, give her those treats and then I'm um, oh, like over their line and then spend the day with her. I got burgers for breakfast. Yeah, you know the diet. 
that yet. To be honest, I haven't been vlogging because I'm vlogging and it's just a whole mess. But we're making breakfast and we're hoping to go to camp tomorrow. But Kurt's going to dinner tonight for Mother's Day. And I feel like he's going to complain that he's tired in the morning, but we're going. So I'm going to make sure I vlog tomorrow morning at food camp to see if we actually went. Do you think we're going to go? We're going. We're <laughs> going. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Kurt's driving, so one turned over. <laughs> and then mini cheesecakes by Cake Smith and Co. Mm -hmm. Work off. 